problematic for you in, in the future, okay? So when, when we talk about collaboration, the reason that we're so adamant about collaboration, and I don't know if you guys were in the Pivot Ready Teams um, yes. breakout that we had. But, yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, so if, if we kind of have a chart over here, and you know, in this chart, we've got uh, the rate of change. We've got the rate of change over here, right? Yep. And then we've got time over here, okay? So we've got these two variables on, on this axis. And the first thing that we look at is um, this kind of static line over here. And this line we'll call, um, Uh, there we go. All right, we'll call it the human adaptation to change, right? Meaning that how fast can a human adapt to a changing environment? So from the beginning of time, like let's just say that this is from kind of when we start, like humans could even like start understanding like timelines and change or anything like that. Humans have always had a static ability to change, meaning that you, you have only so much capacity to handle change before your body starts and your mind starts getting stressed out, right? Mm -hmm. So what's happened is uh, then we can, kind of go, uh, we're going to go in, we actually have a variable. So then we're going along and we're going along and like nothing's changing for like much for a really long time, right? It's kind of like very static. And then all of a sudden, like things start changing. It's like you, you start, uh, you know, going from the agricultural, like, you know, um, era to more of, you know, the, the kind of metals era, industrial era, like the steam engines, electricity, yep. internet, like all this kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, like the, the J curve happens, right? Yep. So yep. this, this is kind of what, what's been uh, going on. And then there's this intersection point of the human ability to handle change and then the rate of change in the world. And this, this point happened in 2016, okay? So since 2016, um, there's been kind of this thing going on that some people like, a lot of people recognize it. Like I always ask people like when we do training stuff, hey, have you, have you recognized that some, something has shifted in the world in the last couple of years, but you can't quite put your finger on it? It's like you, you realize like there's a little bit more anxiety, a little bit more like unknown, a little bit more like, man, I'm not just all the way on top of my game right now. And yep. what that is, is it's actually because the world is changing faster today than us as humans have the ability to react to the change. And when, when I actually discovered this in 2016, I was the CEO of, uh, of a large real estate brokerage. Um, we had about 500 agents doing about $800 million a year in sales. And, you know, life is good. And, you know, a lot of good things. But the, the moment that I saw this, it's like something got anchored in my mind that I could not get out of my mind. And I said, this is going to completely, this is going to completely yeah. change everything. Everything. It's going to change the way that businesses operate in the future. It's going to change the way that people collaborate. It's going to change everything. And if people don't understand this and don't understand how to collaborate and build uh, what we call like a pivot ready team, they're going to start falling behind in business and they will never recover. Right. So, Joey, when you say like, hey, you know, I, I want to go back and work with my team because I can't be the top down leader, like yeah. top down leadership is dead. Right. If, if you look at like the management world, right, the, the term management and managers, things like that, mm -hmm. that was like that term started really kind of coming out in, in like the 40s. And like, I mean, by the 60s, it was like the hottest thing. Like you're a manager. Right. By the 80s, management was dead. And we started talking about leadership. Right. Yeah. Going to the 80s, like the concept of leadership was like really early and like, you know, but most people didn't actually get on board with leadership until like the 2000s, 2010s. But by that point, leadership is actually kind of not the thing anymore. It's, it's not the leader being the leader anymore. It's collaborative teams. Right. If you even like guys like John Maxwell, which are the, like the, you know, the, the, the kind of foremost authorities on leadership. Like, I mean, he's written yeah. more leadership books than anybody else. John Maxwell today will say that it's not about leadership anymore. It's about teams. We're now in the teams right. era. And in, in 2016, like that's when it popped in my head. It's like, oh my gosh, like we're like, we have to build collaborative based teams if we want to survive in the future with, with business. And so that's when uh, I actually resigned from, from the, the, the company that I was with. And I started Birdflow to, for that reason is to say, look, we yeah. want to, we want to work on 
building collaborative teams within organizations and businesses. So people understand the right structure, the, how to hire the right people, um, how to train them, develop them and lead them. But from a collaborative standpoint,